Do I have your permission? Yes. You didn't what care you that ass up, man, literally. <laughs> I will save Paris a second time. I do not need Rollo, I will do it myself. And then? And then? I will organize a coup against the Emperor. I will have him killed and I will replace him. You will be the Emperor. I will be the Emperor. Long live the Emperor! I love it. Long live the Emperor. Long live the Emperor. See? The more this is kind of going on, the more I'm thinking that Olo is in cahoots with the Emperor to try and sneak out the snakes. You know what I mean? Because why would he just completely, like, confess all of his plans to her like that? Like, nah, man. I, th I think that there's something else kind of going on. Some of the shit there's got to be. <laughs> He's not too surprised. <clears throat> Rollo the Christian. <laughs> Let's get to all the other stuff before we start talking about the good shit. <laughs> Back in England. Okay, King Egbert, I really, really think he's moving things into play like it was a game of chess. You know, he's, he's like, okay, you go here, you go there, and sooner or later, checkmate. You know, of course he wants to be king of all of England. So for that to happen, he has to take out the Queen of Mercia. He has to take out the King, uh, King Aloy or Ayla or whatever. And he can't really do that to the Queen of Mercia while his son is around. Because his son, obviously, is in love with her. Like, it's like, okay, if you're out the way, I can take care of her and take over Mercia and everything. So I think he's moving his pieces around, you know what I mean? But now Atherson's son um, is going to be going off to Rome. And like I said, well, I, think, I think we're going to get a bit of a time jump. And I think the next time we're going to see Athelstan's son, he's going to be more or less a grown man. I, I could just kind of see that happening. Same thing with Ragnar's kids and everything. I think we are definitely going to get one. 
Just a question of when. Is it going to be at the season finale of episode 10? Or, it, like, you know... Like, the whole thing with Floki as well. Like, I'm not 100% sold on him being, like, fuck Ragnar. Like, we're not friends anymore. I'm not really buying into it because we've been here before. You know, last season they did the exact same thing with King Horik. You know... Or it could be what the writers actually want you to think. You know, like, oh yeah, last year, like, Floki went against Ragnar, and, and oh no, big reveal, he was actually the inside man. We tricked you, but then this time it's like, no, he's actually like, fuck Ragnar. <laughs> While you're thinking, oh no, he's the inside man again. No, he's like, fuck Ragnar, you know. I don't know, it's weird. It's like the whole, the whole raid on Paris just kind of seems... Like I said at the start, it just seems like Ragnar isn't in it. His head isn't in the game. And that shot then of his family and everything. Oh my God. I really got... <laughs> I really got choked up over that. Like, what the fuck? It's like, this is what could have been. This is could have been your life. Just you and Lagatha, your kids, you know, living this normal kind of normal, peaceful life without worrying about kings and fucking all this other shit. <laughs> you know, what life was like before. More simple. And we saw Atherston off into the background as well. Like, oh my God. But next episode, obviously, Ragnar and Rolo are going to come face to face. Oh shit. I think Ragnar kind of knew something was going to happen. You know, because he was a bit pissed off at Beyond. Like, why did you let your uncle stay there? Rolo has always wanted to make his own footsteps, you know, and not just following Ragnar's, you know what I mean? So, it was obvious that he was going to do something there, man. Ah, oh, shit. It's going to be so epic, man. <laughs> oh, shit. But back in Katagat, the uh, Wanderer has turned back up again. I don't really know why he showed his face again. Thinking about it, though, right? Last time... Last time he was around, those two kids and Siggy drowned. Like, I think I said it before in the episode when he turned up. Um, it's, it's almost as if his, his powers and abilities are linked to death. You know, it's like, for me to do something, someone has to lose their life. You know, and, and if somebody dies in the next episode <laughs> in Katakat mainly to do with drowning, then obviously it's him. Obviously it's linked to him in some type of way. I'm just trying to think, like, everyone, every one of the main cast are off raiding. The only ones who are back at Katakat are Ashlog and Ivor and that other kid that I can't think of and Bjorn's daughter, Siggy. It ain't gonna be one of the kids, is it? It'd be fucked up if it is. Sounds fucked up, but I, I would rather see Ashlug drown. <laughs> that sounds so fucked. Especially, like, instead of one of the kids. Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> that does sound really fucked up. You want to see somebody drown. Oh, God. Nothing against the actress. She's doing a tremendous job. Maybe a bit too good, because I actually am really starting to dislike Ashlug. <laughs> But yeah, next episode, obviously, there's uh, going to be a big battle in Paris. I think it's going to be on the beach. I, I can see Ragnar and one or two boats going over to the beach and taking on Rolo right there and then. Of course, you got the two towers on each side of the lake. If the boats carry on down, there's that chain or whatever that's just going to fuck them up. So, I, mm, I don't know what's going to happen next episode. Um... But yeah, man, fucking love this shit. <laughs> really do love this shit. But anyway, give this video a thumb up if you like it. Comment down below, let me know what you think. And subscribe if you haven't already, man. Alright? I've been Sifurian. I'll catch you in the next one, man.